Preston at Sylvia Petresi's house. We figured everybody loves the programme Come Dine With Me and that acerbic take that the narrator has on the food that people soften uh, ill prepare. So we're going to cook a three course meal cooked by three individuals. There's no prize money unfortunately so no one's going to walk home with a thousand pounds. Sylvia. Oh, hello, hello. darling. Oh. These are for you. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, hi, Sylvia. Oh, hello. Hi, oh, thank you. Hello, my name is Angelina. I'm originally from Kenya, but I now live in trendy Dalston. Oh, my name is Sylvia. I'm originally from Rome, but now I live in Brixton. Hi, I'm Robert. I'm originally from Hertfordshire, but I now live in Birmingham. Mm. So, Sylvia, tell me, is this an Italian sausage? Yeah, it's a, it's a salami. It's, it's a bit spicy. I mean, to be sincere, I wouldn't say that this is the most healthy thing to eat. Right. <laughs> it's got a lot of sauce and it's quite fatty. However, you know, one good thing, one bad thing. You can't, you know, you need to get, keep a balance, I think. Yeah. Oh. This is really, and my wrists are really weak. Gosh, I think this one is strong, but what do you think? I get anxious opening jars like this because, like you say about the low bone removal density in your joints, it can, can often hurt and be impossible, and clearly I'm not the strong boy. So. I'm going to show you Sylvia. a little cigarette. If you cannot open a jar, most of the time it's just because there is air, uh, there is air, you need to get the air out, mm -hmm. so you just go like that. So what's, what's this here then? What have you got here? Those are chickpeas. Uh, I'm going to make um, a chickpeas pasta soup that my grandma used to make. It's like very um, uh, speciality of Rome, very traditional of Rome. And chickpeas, I mean, uh, this is a half a kilo of chickpeas, it's 70p. And, um, right. you know, like all legumes, it's a very rich in protein. So if you can, don't have a like, big budget to buy steak or, you know, meat which is usually the best source of one of the best source of proteins this is a fantastic substitute and they're very very tasty what i did i soaked them last night i mean this is because i'm a bit you know i really like the quality of my food you can also buy those little things for about 50p you don't need to do this but i think they taste better so i soaked them last night in a cold fresh water uh, and um, what the secret is to get them soft quickly is to put half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and, that, and with that in, you know, it takes a lot of the time cooking because with legumes, maybe the thing that puts people off is that it takes a long time to cook them. But with the, uh, with the carbonate of soda and the pressure cooker, <laughs> 20 minutes, done. <laughs> you, Angelina, what are you going to cook for us tonight? Well, I'm going to cook for you something uh, that's really cheap, um, good source of protein and has plenty of omega-3. I'm going to cook for you some tilapia fish. Mm. The fish costs only about three pounds for quite a large fish, and you can get four portions out of it for pieces. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's enough to feed a few people. So, that's what I'm making for you. And I also make a vegetable to go with it, which is spinach, very simple, a pound a pack, and a bit of peanut butter sauce in it. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to eat that. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> and, Rob, what are you making for us? Well, I thought, I, know, I mean, I know that you, neither of you are originally from England, so I thought I would share with you something very English and also something European, I guess, a strudel, yeah. okay. a lovely strudel with uh, custard and cream okay. together. Together? Together. Okay, I look forward to that. We talk about HIV and food. Somebody living with HIV really needs to eat healthily, just like anybody else. But I think that when you are HIV positive, that really gives you an opportunity to say, okay, I'm going to look after my own health because, you know, you understand there is something precious. You don't take it for granted the way that you do when you don't think that you have, a, a, you know, a potentially fatal illness. So, I mean, for me, in a way, it has been a positive thing because, you know, I really look after what I eat and what I need to eat is not very different from what, what everybody should really be eating, like a healthy diet, varied with vegetables and... Day. We have, I mean, this is a lovely bread. Uh, both have a white and a brown bread. A brown bread is kind of pretty good for you because you've got a lot of fiber. And, you know, it, it, in, the, in the realm of bread, it's probably the best bread you can have. However, you know, I also have a lovely cake 
which is uh, flourless. I made it with a grounded almond. So, you know, even somebody who cannot eat bread can eat this and enjoy a bit of life. So after soaking the chickpeas overnight with the bicarbonate, you can just rinse them. And then you, you, know, you put them in a pot with some fresh water. I am a big fan of fresh potatoes because they, they cut the cooking times of about a third. So this in a pressure cooker will take about 20 minutes. But you know, if you don't have a pressure cooker, with about, in about an hour, you, you can still cook them, and especially to got the bicarbonate of soda that we they get soft quite quickly. And um, I don't really want to give you a strict time, because chickpeas can vary in size, so you really have to taste it as well and see when it's soft, it's ready. And as I said, if you don't want to be bothered, just buy a can. So why the chickpeas cook away, I've chopped a bit of onions, I've got some thin tomatoes, my rosemary, and the secret ingredients, anchovies. These are actual anchovies in uh, extra virgin olive oil, and I know that a lot of people think, oh, anchovies, eh, I don't like them. But really, you're not even going to taste them, but they make the broth very tasty. And um, it just gives it like a, a background taste. So even if you don't like anchovies, I think you should try. The alternative is to use bacon, but I think it's not as healthy as we know anchovies are fish rich in omega oil and uh, very low fat. So I'm gonna fry the onions with extra virgin olive oil and the anchovies. So well I would put with this kind of quantity, it's like a big onion and I would put like three anchovies in it. Well there's more anchovies so make four. There, four anchovies. You know, this can cook away really. Uh, the special cooker is going to dust. But while, while the chickpeas cook, but about half an hour, I mean, I would, I would um, first get the onions for about 10 minutes, and then I would add the tomatoes. And once I, I get a tomato in, probably, you know, half an hour in total. So after five, 10 minutes, when the onion is a bit transparent and soft, you just add your um, couple of tins of tomatoes, tin tomatoes, like you know, normal one you get from your local supermarket, and uh, let it simmer for maybe another 20 minutes. So I'm using tagliatelle, you can use any pasta, but what I do, I crush it so it, it gets like in small, in small bits. Take care of that, don't they? It's, it's quite tasty. Filling and um, lovely. Mm. 